Hello there guys, my name is Kirsty Shardongsterborn, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a special uh, video, because today we're going to be looking at why, what exactly, you know, could Alton Towers add for the 2022 season. Now, I know, I know, we're nowhere near the 2022 season yet, we're, nearly, we're not even in the 2021 season yet, and of course we're delaying the 2020 attraction, which is the world of David Williams, this brand new uh, kids area replacing Cloud Cuckoo Land, the refurbishment into the world of David Williams books, and uh, the brand new Dark Ride, Gangster Granny the Ride, uh, is involved in that as well, so, um, you know, it, it's going to be an overall sort of thing, um, and, you know, I thought, you know what, we're, we're about a year, about a, a year or so away from 2022, so... I wondered, you know, with this being delayed till 2021, what could they do for 2022? Now, I know I don't think they're going to do anything completely and utterly massive. I know that. We know that. We all have an idea of that. And, you know, what I've done is I've picked out some particular investments and I want to rate them either not going to happen, might happen, or definitely will happen. So it's going to get a red, an amber, or a green rating. So, this is going to be like a little prediction video, if you will. So, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> and um, nearly half a million views as well. So, please, please, please show your support and keep subscribing. Keep watching over the old videos. And let's get to that half a million views as soon as possible. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. And let's get started straight away with the first of a few different suggestions. So we are kicking off in style, ladies and gentlemen, in style, because we're taking a trip down to probably the one of the best kids areas in the country, CBeebies Land, and um, I've circled Nina's Science Lab. Now this is an indoor sensory attraction uh, where you can open up different smell tubes and guess the smell, and basically it's themed around the show Nina and the Neurons. So for those of you who are adults and don't have families, or wasn't or doesn't remember the show as a kid. I remember the show as a kid. Uh, but those of you who don't remember or don't have a family and don't watch it, well, basically, in in a summary, Nina and the New Runs is basically a show that teaches kids how to learn the five senses, really. Uh, the five basic senses. And, you know, they do this through, like I said, smell tubes, uh, different interactive stuff. So it's very, pr pretty much an interactive walkthrough attraction. And um, just a couple of years ago, just a, about two, three, Two, two, three years ago, about 2017, 2018, uh, this ride was closed with no like previous announcement, and you know we heard rumours of maybe some kind of new sensory attraction going into that particular building, and uh, we haven't heard anything from it since. Um, I would have liked to have seen maybe a CBB's Land scare maze, a family scare maze to replace and fill the void of House of Monsters, which is, of course where Gangster Grand of the Ride is now. Um, I'd like to see like some kind of new kids maze for CBB's Land this scare fest, but of course, and then that would have been the building I'd put it in, but there's nothing for that building, so maybe um, they could be saving that for a particular reason. Um, now, in terms of what I want to see in this building, again, I'm going to go off the theme of a sensory attraction. Um, I didn't, I didn't have. Well, to be fair, I didn't know which CBB show they could use for this particular attraction. They could build on a, a show that they've only used during the Big Fun Showtime uh, arena and not really spread out as an actual attraction. Um, maybe they could dip into the CBB's Land archives, maybe. Maybe they could go with, like, a... Um, maybe they could combine it with, some, with the Little Explorer's toy box and, um, you know... Com com just make this entirely massive building even bigger maybe and you know bring in a past theme so something like the koala brothers i, mean, I remember that when i was a kid um or just some kind of cbb's like archive theme or maybe they do like a nice sensory walkthrough attraction based on the history of cbb's and do like a historic factual tour maybe um, which would be nice. Now, if I was to rate this uh, red, amber, or green, I'm going to go with green here. I think 2022 is the year we're going to see another new CBB Land attraction. And to be fair, 2022, three years without a CBB Land attraction, which I think is the biggest gap uh, without a CBB Land attraction in, since the area opened in 2014, I believe. So it would be the biggest gap three years, which is which is not long when you think about it, but for CBB's Land, it's like a century. Um, but I would like to see a CBB's Land attraction in 2022, something for the kids and something that's 
great. So maybe some kind of walkthrough tour of the history of CBeebies in that building or just another sensory attraction theme to a current CBB show. That's what we're looking at with this. Uh, next up is the Cuckoo Cars Driving School and I've also done a separate Google uh, Maps uh, to circle the theatre space as well and this is why. I think 2022 could also potentially see, as a prediction, a phase two for the world of David Williams. So that's a refurbishment and a retheme or a replacement of the Cuckoo Cars Driving School and also something in the David Williams, uh, in the theatre building, a theme to David Williams. So maybe it's a 4D cinema, maybe they go along the Legoland Windsor route with their new area for next year and they bring in a flying theatre into the building. Obviously with COVID restrictions, it is very hard to do indoor attractions nowadays. So... You know, it's going to be a stretch for 2022, so, um, with the, especially with the theatre space. So maybe they, they could hold off on re-theming the driving school until they get the theatre space as well. Uh, so maybe that phase two won't come until 2023. So I think overall, I think I'd theme that probably as an amber. I'd give that an amber rating. Um, just because of the fact that they of the indoor restrictions due to COVID and, you know, is COVID going to be still around in 2022? Hopefully not, um, if people just listen to the restrictions. Um, but, you know, I do think that maybe we could be looking at holding off of the driving school being rethemed until it's safe for the indoor building to be used where the theatre is. Of course, that used to be Ice Age 4D. I remember Ice Age 4D. We all remember Ice Age 4D. Uh, from 2012 till about 2016, 2017. Um, you know, so I would like to see, you know, something being done in there, but I reckon if COVID's still around, at least a little bit in 2022, I reckon that could be a 2023 thing. They'll hold off re the driving school until then. So, I mean, I was tempted to give the driving school a green rating for that to happen and then the amber rating for the theater space but i'm going to give both an amber rating just because i think they'll hold off on retheming the driving school and they can package it together as two new attractions um so that's what i'm thinking i think covid's the only thing stopping the theater being um you know reused as a new attraction building whether it's a 4d cinema or a live show venue or a flying theater and that could then hold off progress on re-theming the driving school to something else. Next up is a brand new dark ride. Now, this is in the Nemesis Subterra, aka Project 42 site. And uh, this, again, is... Um, I'm going to give this, again, an amber rating. I'm going to give this amber because... Um, I reckon this will not happen until, like, again, we're looking at COVID restrictions. If it's around 2022, then we could be looking at a 2023, 2024 attraction here. And um, I know Project 42 probably closed due to COVID, and I know that it wouldn't have been accessible during COVID conditions. Uh, whether they bring it back next year or not is uncertain for Scarefest. I think if, I think if COVID eases down in 2021 and then it gets extinguished, um, and we're, we're safe to, you know, live our lives a bit more again. And the the Subterra building still doesn't get used for Scarefest. I reckon Project 42 is gone, finished, done, over the hill like some species is. And, I mean, I, talk, I talked about that Heritage Tour video, didn't I? About the a permanent maze in the towers where that is currently, or where that was. Uh, so maybe we'll see a new themed maze for that in 2021. But I think if Project 42 does not come back for next year's Scarefest, that's it for it. Project 42, it's done. And I reckon they've got some permanent plans in the works for that particular building, whether that's a new dark ride system, whether it's... And to be fair, I spoke about this online recently, may on a forum somewhere, maybe if Black Mirror Labyrinth goes down well, something like that would work in this building, themed to Dark Apocalypse and the Phalanx. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if they go with something like that. Um... But again, I'm going to give this an amber rating because I don't think that will happen in 2022. Next up, a new flat ride in the Ripsaw site in, Forb in Forbidden Valley, completely opposite to Subterra. Uh, so we're taking a long walk for about a minute. Um, but yeah, the Ripsaw site, uh, it just doesn't look good, does it? It looks like it's, per it's it looks very temporary, not permanent at all. And, um, you know, it hasn't been touched by a permanent attraction for... You know, a good few years now, you know, by 2022, it'll have been, what, five years since Ripsaw, about five, nearly six years since Ripsaw last operated. So, you know, it's going to be a stretch to see Ripsaw open again. Um, it will never happen. Uh, I think if they were going to bring in a new version of Ripsaw, it will be a new version, whether it's a suspended top spin or a new concept of top spin. 
Um, I think a new flat ride in general is probably best for this particular area. Um, maybe they could add some more axes of rotation and go with the Torball on attraction. Again, you're looking at Cyborg Cyberspin, at Six Flags Great Adventure, or uh, pictures of the Would You Do This Ride memes on Facebook. Um, that's where it originated from before it was an actual ABC Rides Torball on, technically. Um, but, you know, I think one of those could be good. Add some axes of rotation, give Ripsaw a whole new lease of life. So Ripsaw 2.0 is a Torbalon. Uh, or maybe they go with a different flat ride. Maybe something like uh, the Lumberjack uh, ride at Canada's Wonderland. Um, maybe like the Zampola Hawk, where it's like a inverting uh, long arm ride. Um, it'd be interesting to see what they'd replace it with. Maybe, it, I, I mean, it wouldn't be a Zampola Endeavour, because they've already got Enterprise and Exeter. But... Um, maybe a new flat ride could work in there, but again, I'm going to give this an amber rating. It may happen, it may not. We can't really tell at this stage. Um, so, uh, we'll see with that one. Finally, preparation for Secret Weapon 9. Now, I think I'm going to give this a green light to take place in 2022. The first preparation for Secret Weapon 9. And, uh, I think we're looking here at a 2024 opening date for Secret Weapon 9. That is, of course... Um, six years after Wickerman opened in 2018, the last secret weapon project. Um, and I, obviously I did the Google Maps, I looked online, uh, and the two sites I've highlighted, I'm not going to go into it too much because I've already done secret weapon 9 predictions and location videos in the past, a few months ago. So, uh, a load of months ago. So you can go check out them in the Alton Towers playlist, which has been linked at the end of the video as well, so you can check out that for yourselves. Um, but again, we're looking at either uh, Rita or the Galactica car park being replaced. Um, so, you know, it's it's going to be a stretch to see which one actually gets used for Secret Weapon 9. I would not mind either, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Um, but it should be interesting to see what... Um, you know what happens uh, because I'd be just to see exactly you know what gets used for Secret Weapon 9 um, but I think whatever gets used for Secret Weapon 9 I would be very excited about uh, this particular um, attraction so um, I don't think I mind where Secret Weapon 9 goes I just want it to happen I just want to see preparation start and just to see exactly you know what's going to happen you know what is going to happen with secret weapon 9 but i do i'm, I'm going to give this the green light i think preparation will begin in 2022 and you're going to think wicker man started preparation at the end of 2016 um going into scare fest 2016 so i reckon they're going to use the scare fest of 2022 work all the way through 2023 as well and open it for the spring of 2024 i think that's what we're looking at here with Secret Weapon 9 at Alton Towers. But I'm going to give this one the green rating, and I think preparation will start at the end of 2022, around the, the Scarefest fireworks period. So there we go, a couple of ambers there, but I think the true green lights uh, do go with preparation for Secret Weapon 9 and a brand new CBB's Land attraction as well. Uh, like I said, I think that the theatre building will hold off until COVID's gone uh, for it to be reused again. They'll hold off retheming the driving school so they can include that as a brand new package of attractions. Uh, the new flat ride for Bidden Valley, I don't think that'll be coming, but it might happen, you never know. Again, same with Subterra, maybe a Black Mirror Labyrinth style experience inside their themes, Dark Apocalypse. Again, might happen, might not happen, you never know. Uh, I think that one depends on COVID and also the success of Black Mirror Labyrinth, the thought part next year. Um, whether they use that kind of attraction again. So I think there's a few options there, but I think I'm going to stick with the new CBB's Land ride and the... Uh, preparations for Secret Weapon 9 and I think 2023 maybe could be the year 2023 when they can uh, use the World of David Williams Phase 2 and then that's all going on and opening while uh, Secret Weapon 9 gets prepared for for 2024 and then maybe Forbidden Valley gets some work done around 2025, 2026 if it's not the site for Secret Weapon 9 and the Galactica Car Park for 2024 um, so, all in all, that's my early predictions for 2022 at Alton Towers. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this particular video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video around. Uh, I think I'm the first person to do a prediction for 2022 this early um, on its own. So, uh, I feel kind of privileged now. <laughs> and, um, thank you very much, guys. My name is Coach Shell. Keep them the coast alive. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.